crazy because I literally um I washed my hair flipped over in the sink and I normally don't wash my hair this way but I didn't want to wash my hair or get wet like that so I washed it in the sink but that really tangles my hair so just in case I don't say that in my video but I've told you guys before I don't necessarily like washing my hair in the dang sink like that where's my brush okay so guys welcome back to another pre-poo chit chat video today i'm gonna be trying this fruities damage repairing uh papaya hair treatment three in one hair mask so it's a hair mask a conditioner or a leave-in conditioner so this is the one that i'm using it's the orange cap I'm using this like I told y'all before because I am oof. so I did a apple cider vinegar bath if you guys are wondering what I did um it feels clean like my hair feels clean but um if you guys I did tell you I'm using store-bought products because I want to just try to see like what my hair is liking and not liking because of the shedding situation so I really want to just try different store products really quick I shouldn't have did that to my hair cuz I shouldn't have put it like I shouldn't have did that I shouldn't have been lazy nah. but you guys um I'm going to try to take this section by section because I feel how tangled my hair is. And I probably should just go in the shower and run my hair under the water and like comb it out bit by bit because I hadn't combed my hair in two weeks. And literally, I'm like, I had my hair up in a bun, which is probably another reason why it's so tangled because I had it in a nappy unkept bun is what I kept it in but you guys enough of my side rambling I just wanted to let y'all know what I'm using and how badly tangled my hair is okay this ain't the bee's knees today okay so what I'm gonna do with my hair is use this as a deep conditioner but I'm not going to rinse it out because I've been feeling lazy. So I'm going to, I'm not going to rinse it out. I'm going to use it as a deep conditioner. I'm going to put my bag on there. I'm going to put my heated cap on. And then I'm going to style my hair with only putting it in this clip. I'm going to make sure that it's all going downwards. Like I'm going to do a wash and go, but not a wash and go. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with my hair. And I'm going to see how my hair like it or if. Okay, okay, but this is vegan. It like has no parabens, no silicone, no added colors. It has actual papaya extract in it. So, you know, I don't necessarily trust like everything, whatever. But I mean, I'm gonna see. You know, I'm just gonna see how my hair does with it. So let's get started in this video because I'm rambled for too long i have the things rolled down this time so i don't forget because i have been feeling foggy brained um these last couple of days so i feel like uh i feel like i look crooked to y'all but it's okay so what i wanted to talk about is it's 2022 now the month is april 9th now 2022 and I went natural like 2010. No. Don't drip down my back. I didn't ask you to do that. So I went natural 2010. So I've been natural for like, what, 12 years now. 
and I just wanted to come on here to tell you guys how I feel and what I've learned about me being natural, my hair setbacks, my journey like with being natural. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. First off, y'all, I'm having hair problems right now. I put a conditioner in my hair and I left that in my hair for two weeks without washing it out because I was being lazy and now my hair don't feel as soft as it was feeling like the past other two weeks ago. Like it's feeling like hard and not happy and that was my fault. I do apologize to you hair like come on can you bounce back for me but yeah so I just wanted to tell y'all like the things that I've learned and noticed and things like that so the first thing is only four things like first off it's like I noticed that a lot of people didn't love themselves when they talk about their hair journey but i grew up in a family is like where you love yourself and we was taught self-love and me going natural didn't change the way that i felt about myself like i didn't feel like me going natural made me love myself any more or any less it just made me honestly for me going natural it was me doing something for myself and not necessarily loving myself I, that was the first time that I didn't care what anybody said about my hair per se um like pretty much like going to church or having to have my hair look a certain way t for church like I didn't care about the oh my goodness your hair isn't straight or is not long or it doesn't look a particular way that you think my hair should look I feel like I had found my independence when I went natural I guess you can say so for me going natural it wasn't like oh I loved myself more I felt like I had started becoming my own woman when I be when I went natural because it wasn't something popular and it wasn't something that a lot of people around me agreed with um for me to do so I was just like, no, I can do this. And then that's when I kind of grew into like knowing, doing something and following through with the process, if that makes sense. It's like, I knew I wanted to have better hair care, but not necessarily knowing how and then being younger and not necessarily sticking with anything long term. This was like the first thing that I had to like really prove to myself and also others is like no i'm gonna prove you wrong like i can do my hair and i can also make it long and make it more healthier than the traditional going to the hair salon like i can figure this out for myself so i honestly feel like that's where i came into like my adulthood was starting my natural hair journey but that's also when i met my husband so i was kind of going into my adulthood because I hadn't been away from my family and stuff like that and like I like I told you guys before I had met my husband when I was 19 and we was married by the time I was 20 fits to turn 30 I mean 20 fits to turn 30 I was 20 turning 21 and he was 21 so it's it's very interesting of like the the changes and the developments of like how my natural hair journey kind of started in the stages of me becoming a adult so and then after it's like hey look at my hair like it's flourishing like my hair is long like i actually stuck with it and it looks good so it was really a change for me of becoming an adult so the next thing for me with my natural hair that i've learned is how people take me so what I mean by that is like, I noticed when my hair was heat damaged and short and straight, people, people, but I was younger though. So people really just still, okay, so story time, okay. 
I really didn't realize that I had um, damaged heat, heat damaged hair and I didn't know that my hair could actually poof up or look like this or shrink because my hair never shrunk like that when I was heat damaged and I never seen my hair not necessarily kink like yeah kinky nappy like i never seen my hair like that even though i didn't have a perm for that long so i have worked at abercrombie and fitch and yes i'm gonna put them out saying the name and everything because i don't care so i got hired at abercrombie and fitch and it's like this is kind of like a, a, a race story right so i had got hired basically because i was black and i went to the job interview she actually asked me about how do you feel about diversity in the workplace blah 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 and i was like you know i like it because it shows that if somebody comes in the store that looks like me they can actually fit the clothes wear the clothes and mind you i was like 18 at the time 18 because i worked there for almost two years so i literally was just i was young so after about me working there for maybe six six months and the store manager at that time had started to get to know me and like try to make it seem like she was like super cool with me or my friend she had pointed to a poster that was like a mixed girl and she had her hair down and curly and she's like hey because i always wore my hair straight and i my hair always stayed like between my neck length and she's like uh hey can you like tomorrow wear your hair like that and this girl in the poster like the modeling poster if you guys been into abercrombie you know what i'm talking about but it's like these big old gray um black pictures on the wall and a lot of them were either mixed people or white people and she's like can you do your hair like this tomorrow and I looked at her and I said, no, my hair don't do that. And she was like, what? I said, yeah, no, my hair don't do that. I was like, my hair has never looked like that. And she's like, oh, I thought that you could wear your hair curly or make it do that. She's like, that was like one of the main reasons why I hired you because I thought that your hair could do that. I said no like when I wet my hair my hair stays straight and flat like it doesn't get curly and full like that I was like this is the what my hair looks like I was like it, it doesn't ever look like that so that that was the story at Abercrombie but I had actually stopped working there because by the second summer that I worked there they wanted us to wear these little skirts and little dresses and i was like first off i told her i was like i'm a thicker fuller woman and i cannot wear this little skirt and think that my butt cheeks aren't going to be hanging off and under this dang skirt and she was like well this is the dress code for this summer and this is what we have to wear i was like no nah, i will wear my abercrombie jeans that i always wear but i'm i cannot put that on and then my husband was just like they want you to wear what he wasn't even my husband then he was just my boyfriend and he was like they want you to wear what it's like they want me to wear this and i had put it on in the dressing room for him to see and i took a picture and sent it to him um and he was like yeah no you're not wearing that and he was like just go to work and put on your your the clothes and if they say anything to you about not being in dress code he was like you quit and he was like what bills are you paying with your with that job and i told him i was like man i buy my food with this and i pay my phone bill so my husband literally started paying my phone bill when we were dating but neither here nor there how people take took me with my straight hair it was like i, I like people didn't know at that time i mean i know that she was white like i know that she obviously didn't understand the differences but when i was younger i had long hair for a black girl and my hair was nice and i didn't get to be necessarily around other black females that often because they were either not nice to me because I had longer hair or I didn't act black enough for them. So for me, my hair was always kind of like, uh, like 
oh and y'all literally my hair was not that long like i always stayed a little bit at neck length for that to be my experience when i was younger it's like oh you got long hair like my ponytail could actually go into a ponytail without me having like little flyaways down at the bottom or or like my hair just looking completely like the typical ponytail that you see a lot of black females have so i was like teased by other black children at that time because my hair was longer so knowing that it was probably just jealousy but then after i started like going natural and stuff i uh i didn't get approached by guys that often because I got approached all the time when my hair was straightened but after i went natural and i wasn't doing like you know the pretty straightened hair look i did not get approached by guys or anything and then after my hair got longer um with it looking fuller natural like this is years after me being married and me working at a job i noticed that if i wore my hair in like braids and it was more frizzier looking more of my natural texture i didn't get approached but as soon as i would do like a twist out or a braid out or something like that i would get approached by so many black guys asking me like oh my gosh like what do you mix with like that's not all your hair and it was always those two comments like what do you mix with like or or telling me that it's not all my hair so that kind of became annoying after a while because it's like dude i want to enjoy my hair being out but i really can't because i don't like the attention that i get and then i don't want to be like why do i have to be mixed to have long hair type of thing because five years into my natural hair journey that was very annoying because it's like where's this energy when my hair is in a big puff or is like up like it's not the same energy when it's down in a twist out with a twist and curl or whatever like there's no mixed energy questions <laughs> towards me but now that my hair is this way and you see i'm the same black girl and i remember people's faces very well like especially me working at a store like i will see these same guys come off in the dang store and it's like you never said anything to me before my hair looked like this so and obviously I, i'm married so i didn't i don't care about the attention like that but i'm just telling you guys the differences of like i seen the differences of how i would be treated by my hairstyle so if my hair was in a twist a twist and curl i would get a lot of attention by guys asking me what i was mixed with wanting my number but black guys but when my hair was in my mini braids i would get a lot of attention from black women asking me oh how'd you get your hair so small or how um who did your hair or um it's not all my hair like once again it's a denial thing like oh no that can't be all your hair so i got that type of attention so after a while like i will stop wearing my mini braids down and i know that like, I would just stop wearing my hair or my mini braids down because the attention is just too much. Like, the questions of my hair is, like, normally, I'm the type of person, like, I feel like if you're asking me a genuine question, I'm going to give you a genuine answer. But then when it turns into, I have to prove to you that my hair is my hair, and then me telling people, I can't, I cannot do many twists or mini braids in people's hair. Like, I don't know what it is, but to turn around and to try to, duplicate that on somebody else's head i tried to do my mom's hair and i felt like it was so ugly it didn't turn out right it didn't turn out it didn't look like mine and i know it wouldn't look like mine but i just felt like the parts wasn't cute i felt like it was just it could it i don't feel like it was given what it could have gave so i don't know like my sister does hair she can braid french braid add weave all that but i cannot turn around and do somebody's hair like i can't add weave or anything like that so just the how how can you do your hair like that but you can't do other people's hair like that that is overwhelming especially when 
you are talking to somebody face to face and it's like a convincing a convincing thing at that point of like no seriously i can't do other people's hair like i don't know i i cannot french braid your hair like i'm truly sorry and it's like i found myself apologizing for stuff that i don't need to apologize about but as an adult i just keep my hair up because i just don't want the attention and then it's also a good way to protect my hair but um my hair has always been like a a topic but i've never felt insecure with my straight hair short or my natural hair out i feel like the more i've gotten into my natural hair journey especially when i was younger it would just be more annoying the type of people which were mainly black people that would approach me in disbelief and then the the you got to be mixed to have nice or long hair like that's just offensive but um that's how people take me like with my different hairstyles and now i'm just like you know i'm a lot older than i was when i first went natural and it's more accepted now like having natural hair and it's not as big of a shock to people when i be like oh no like it's this is my hair actually <gasps> talking about my hair i had my hair in this nappy looking ponytail yesterday and i went over to my rv resort um place and the manager was just like he's a white old man he's like i never seen your hair like that is that all of your hair but he date black women though so he's like ah, he's like is that all your hair and i was just like yeah like it's all my hair he was like i've never seen it like that he's like i've always you just either have it covered or it's like pulled way back like i've never seen it full and up i was like yes yeah, it's, it's all of my hair it's like your hair must be really long was like, yep it is i just keep it away but i haven't had a comment about my hair in a while because since the pandemic and stuff it's kind of funny i've just been really keeping it up and away and with it going through its stages of shedding it's like yeah i really don't want my hair to be out like that but the next thing that i've noticed that since i've grown and changed with my hair has been uh heat damage versus not being heat damaged and then the transitioning stage once again the trend for me the transitioning stage wasn't that bad because i cut my hair a little bit at a time and people really didn't notice that i was either a heat damaged or i was trans transitioning to being natural i just had to keep my hair in like really big twist and then i kept my hair in buns within the twist and that's how i wore my hair but i don't feel like it was a struggle for me to become all natural because i was never the natural that was trying to wear my twist out out and was trying to deal with two different textures like that wasn't my experience so it wasn't hard for me to hide that i had two different textures because i would just i would just twist my hair up and put my twist in a bun so no one could ever really see that oh the ends of my hair was thin and the top of my hair was thicker and then doing my hair i always do my hair in the shower like wet so it really didn't make that big of a difference to me doing my hair because my hair was always wet under the shower and then i put product on there and make sure that my hair was like getting um it was getting styled that way and it, it just made it really easy so my transitioning stages of hair and trying to work with my two different textures i didn't feel like it was that dramatic for me because i'm not the type of person that has to do a lot with my hair and i'm fine with my hair being in a bun and a protective style so what i mean i like i would twist my hair like this wet in the shower with product and then i would literally put my hair in a bun no problem i'm done <laughs> like my hair is feeling a lot better my hair was just really tangled 
so I know I cannot keep my hair in that raggedy bun like that and then hopefully I can't skip a week of me washing my hair anymore like I've just noticed that like if I skip two weeks of me not washing my hair my hair is so done it's so dry and it's pissed off so it's feeling a lot better now I'm gonna see how I think I might just keep them in this twist and then put this clamp on that I was saying because I was just gonna put my hair like like put the product on my hair and then just leave it down and then twist it and then clip it. I'm gonna have to show y'all another video on what I mean. But this week, no ma'am honey sugar fudge. She needs to keep a twist in her head. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. I need to keep a twist in my head but the transitioning stage wasn't wasn't really horrible for me but the thing that i got teased about a lot and still get bothered i'm not bothered with it today but the thing that i got teased about a lot was my birthmark i never really got teased about my hair i noticed people took me differently with my hair but the thing that really got my goat that i wish that i could have covered up sometime was my birthmark but after i got into like maybe the eighth grade i completely stopped caring about getting teased about my birthmark like people would never tease me like i said about my hair yeah so for me it was always the comments about my birthmark and you guys this it really don't have too much slip in it but i mean it's like moisturizing my hair pretty pretty good like i'm not i'm not upset with it honestly this product um and the smell really isn't too standoffish i mean it's not too bad but this is a 13 13.5 fluid ounce bottle and it's done it's done <laughs> but oh i'm a blurber don't be blur because i've been blurry these last couple times i've been making these videos and i'm like I can't see like I really need to like just get me a monitor or something to hook up but like I haven't gotten all techie like that with my channel like I just I need to learn it to figure out uh, to like see whatever but to stay on topic so this video is only 30 minutes long I literally only got teased about my dang birthmark and that really made me like i got bullied about my birthmark and it made me not want to talk to that many people or have that many friends because like if i wasn't being called marco buddha or doodle stain or something like that it was like they talked about me being super skinny and and that was just mainly from boys and the girls was just like i wasn't loud or ghetto or sleeping around or kissing other guys and my hair like i always held myself better than most of the girls in school so i couldn't be off in a little click in a game because for one i didn't want to be because you's doing too much birds of a feather flock together and ain't no hoes so i'm not fit to be what is going on here oh my goodness <laughs> Like, when you start telling the truth, I promise you, your equipment want to start freaking just acting up. No! <sighs> okay. So, yeah, I'm going to say it again. I was no hoe, so I wasn't going to be hanging out with girls that were fast that i knew that was sleeping around because i didn't want other boys to think that i was one of them females that you could just screw and be nasty with and it's like absolutely not like you is out your little nasty perverted mind if you think ever ever so i got teased a lot for that not putting out in my birthmark and me being super skinny putting out is having sex and honestly though because i knew my self-value and self-worth i didn't it the only thing that really bothered me 
out of those three things that I got teased for in school was my birthmark. Because it's like, it's my face. Like, it's part of my, it's my face. I can't do anything about my face. But I feel like that really helped me with not, with picking someone that liked me for me. And not, like, it took a special individual, which is my husband, to really, like, he, I didn't grow up with him. He really, he didn't know me like that. And for him to have told me that he didn't see my birthmark when he met me, is like, because we didn't see each other, like, visually. Like, he seen five photos on my MySpace, but it wasn't like, oh, I seen you in person. Like, I know what your body looked like. This is that and a third. Like, it wasn't like that, like that. But he didn't see my birthmark and... Like I'm trying to say, it's like, that's the one thing that really got me in school. Like, I wouldn't cry about it or, or felt like I was ugly. I was just like, people are stupid because it's my face. I can't change my face of for nothing. Like, it's who I am. So, okay, well, you just won't be my friend because you want to tease me about something that I obviously can't change. Like, I can... I can change my hair, I can change my hair, but I can't change my face. And then covering it up with makeup. For one, my mom didn't wear makeup, so we never got into makeup. We couldn't wear makeup like that. And then when I did start trying to experiment with make makeup, makeup really made my <laughs> it it made my birthmark um ashy looking. And makeup when I was 16 for black people really wasn't even that it wasn't that good so i couldn't really find a color that matched matched me so that's another reason why i don't wear makeup like that because my birthmark it would look extremely weird and then once i fell in love with my birthmark like i said i think i was like in the eighth grade and then by fashionetta i really loved my birthmark because it made me different from everybody and I was in Fashionetta, and that woman that did my makeup, she covered my birthmark up. And that's when I absolutely knew that I would never cover my birthmark up if I had makeup because it was who I am. And my brother, he came in my room and was like, who is this chick in this photo? I was like, it's me, dummy. <laughs> like, don't you see my birthmark? He was like, no. That's why I'm asking you, like, who is this chick? I was like, my birthmark is right there. Oh my God, she covered my birthmark up. And it was years, it was like, I was out of high school then. And I think I did fashion out of my junior year, junior year of summer. And it was like, I had already met my husband and everything by the time my brother came in my room and was wondering who this random chick's picture was. I was like, dog, like it don't look like me because my birthmark is gone. But I, yeah, that was, that was real bummish. It was so bummish, but it's okay. But long story short, guys, you know, I know some people get made fun of a lot worse and teased about crap, but it's like, just be secure in who you are and don't get pressured and bullied into being something that you don't want to be or somebody that you don't want to be. And even if you're doing things differently, still do things different because people are only teasing you and talking about you because you are different and they hating and i would rather be different than following the crowd and you doing what everybody else is doing literally it's not gonna get you nowhere it it yeah man it's not gonna get you i don't know if you're happy with being a follower then be a follower but I'm not going to be a follower, especially when I know that it's wrong and nasty. If you being nasty. <laughs> I don't even know. But that's what I have learned over the years of my natural hair. Um, This piece is really long. Y'all, like, I don't even be trying to cap. But my hair is like... Where is she coming from? From up above, from Jesus Christ himself. That's where it's coming from. Because I'm like, yes, hang time. Like, oh my goodness. 
I'm not going to put my hair in a little nappy bun like that again because my hair is not happy. And y'all, I'm being so gentle with this brush. I really am. But I am going to get off of here. I'm going to put that heat cap on my head. Um, and I'm going to sit with the heat cap on for like 45 minutes. And then I'm going to just literally clip these twists up. And then hopefully my hair will dry without no white stuff on it. And then I'll come back and show you guys like if my hair will really, it what it looks like. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching because I still have like this whole back section to comb out and it's taking me so long to comb out my hair because I'm being super gentle, but it's really tangled from me wearing my raggedy bun like that. I wanted to show y'all how much hair I'm losing, but I don't think it's too much. Yeah. I mean, it's more than normal because I skipped a week, but I think it has a lot of product in it, though. But this is how much I've lost so far, but I don't think that's too... I don't think that's too bad. I think it has a lot of product in it. I'll try to come back on here and show you guys how much hair I've lost. Um... Yeah, I'll try to come back on here and show y'all. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you did your hair with me, girl. And I know this video was probably long. <sighs> but just to let you guys know, like, everybody goes through it. And so, that's why I was, like, sitting here talking to y'all. And I probably talk real slow, but it's okay. You just do your hair with me when you want. And listen to something positive instead of something negative. you be A. Okay. Alright guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.